so I am wrong again but the Clippers managed to pull out an impressive victory against the Phoenix Suns in game five and now we have game six returning at Staples Center and the main storyline of this game of course will be our Paul George career high 41 points 13 boards six assists throw in three steals as well and you have a great ball game for him the only problem was he did have a couple of sloppy unforced errors when it comes to turnovers but a virtually flawless game Devin Booker was great in the first half and he tailed off in the second which is pretty much the story because he had like 16 in the first half efficient made three threes had one through to close out the half to you know cut it down to seven the, the, the Suns were down 10 at that point and yeah he just tailed off in the second half Chris Paul had an okay game he took six threes missed all of them so that would be uh, his biggest problem he just didn't make any threes when it comes to uh, Mikael Bridges and Jay Crowder they just have to give you more they had a combined 10 points they're both playing around 23 25 minutes a night they got to give you more when it comes to them, you know knocking down their threes because it's simply not enough and with campaign being injured he only played 13 minutes a night he was one for six they're gonna need more from everyone else being that campaign turn and he's been a great you know, contribution for them during this playoff run and cp3 he, he was iffy tonight when it comes to you know taking all those threes he, he didn't make any of them he also missed a couple of easy shots in the mid-range when it comes to the clippers reggie jackson demarcus cousins and marcus morris senior yeah they were they were all good especially marcus morris in the first quarter he had like what i believe he scored most of their points in that first quarter or at least start the game off because he had like 10 points early he was five for five to start the game out and the marcus cousins he was able to come in off the bench get a quick you know 10 12 points but one thing that really surprised me when it comes to like uh, the marcus cousins playing good compared to you know the phoenix phoenix suns is deandre ayton only had like 10 points tonight he only, he only took nine shots he's five for nine and i get it you got chris paul and devin booker but only nine shots for Aiton. I felt like they should have gone to him a bit more. Now, especially being that the Clippers utilize a smaller lineup, you know, consistently throughout the game because Ivica Zubak is out with an MCL sprain. So I thought they would be a lot better, you know, when it comes to just dominating in the interior with DeAndre Aiton. I, I thought they would, and they just wasn't tonight. It doesn't make much sense. Aiton had 10 boards, which is it's good, but you would think, well. With you know Zubak being out, he should have like 15 or 20. So he didn't he didn't do that. He only had like I believe 10 or 11. So another double double. But you would like to see him you know have more touches and more uh, more rebounds. But in fairness, the Clippers they did a great job of blocking him out with their smaller players, having the wings like Paul George swooping and grabbing the rebound. So they did a good job you know actually just boxing out and getting the board from in. That's because. I mean, they are facing elimination. They were down 3-1, and they played desperate throughout the whole game. Because they started out the first quarter hot, they got on to a big like 12-15 point lead, and they played desperate. Like they, they felt like they was you know acutely aware of what would happen if they did not win tonight's game. That it would be going home. And again, Paul George was great. 43 points, 13 and 6. He was efficient. 15 for 20 from the field. Just excellent stuff for him tonight. Excellent stuff. And in the post-game comments, he mentioned that he gets criticized, or he gets overly criticized. And I agree, even though I don't like the Clippers, I agree. Guys just look to jump on Paul George uh, every time he doesn't have a great shooting night. And the reason why it's weird they do this every time, because there's nothing wrong you know, getting off your pandemic P jokes, you know. Like from Game 7 last year, nothing wrong with getting off those jokes right there. But if he has a bad night shooting the basketball, I don't think you need to torch him every time it happens. I mean, he's a wing who relies on this jumper to get a lot of his points. And if he has a, if his jumper is not good that night, then he's going to have a bad shooting night. It's also weird when a lot of these guys' favorite players, you know, guys like Kobe Bryant, even though Kobe would have a ton of bad shooting nights. So I don't know why people are just so quick to jump on him having a bad shooting night. Uh, I don't get it. Chris Middleton has bad shooting nights as well, and we don't see him get the criticism as much. I get it that he's in Milwaukee and he's Chris Middleton, but you know, they're both wings, they can defend, 
Well, not in the elite level. Crystal Notes is not an elite defender, but they can defend. They're allowing on their jump shot. And yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have some bad nights and not make those shots. And you know that's how you get the stat lines. You know, five for seventeen. When Paul George like five for twenty. And it's not that hard. But criticizing when he you know he actually shouldn't you know be messing up. Like him missing jumpers is one thing. Him missing free throws, I can get the criticisms right there. But every bad shooting night, huh? <laughs> pandemic P. Like I, I I don't get it. I I really don't. But we'll see what the Suns do on Game Six. I mean, with the way the Clippers play tonight, I'm inclined to believe they win Game 6, and Phoenix probably closes out in Game 7. That's what I'm inclined to believe. So, we will wait and see what they do in Game 6. I believe Paul George has done a lot to clear up his reputation surrounding his playoff performances, and I look forward to the Bucks, you know, beating the Hawks tomorrow. But that just about wraps everything up, and with that out the way, ladies and gentlemen, y'all stay safe, and I'm out.